involved in 2003. My cardiologist did an exam. He says, if we don't do something with this valve, there would be a 50% chance that you won't be with us next year. It was a success. Of course, done internet uh, searches on it and uh, found out that the median lifespan for a valve of that nature is 13 years. Guess what? 13 years later, uh, I started having symptoms again. I was starting to feel shortness of breath. My cardiologist confirmed, yeah, you do need to have that valve replaced again. His valve lasted quite a long time, given the generation of valve that was used, which was an early generation valve. But we're into our third and fourth generation valves now. We have the ability, through a reoperation, of giving him a longer lasting valve. When I got in to do the procedure, I was able actually to insert a larger valve which is unusual. Uh, most of the times you can only put in the same size valve that they were able to put in the first time. By his own admission, he's a fairly large man. And there is a necessary ratio between the size of the valve that you put in a person and their body size. And in his previous institution, they used a relatively, probably the smallest valve they could use and yet maintain that ratio of valve size to his body size. I was able to enlarge the opening and give him a larger valve that ostensibly would allow better flow across it. Heart disease remains the number one killer in the United States now. I think that what's unique about Sarasota Memorial Healthcare System is the fact that they've assembled a very capable team that is able to do the entire range of cardiovascular, cardiothoracic care. Now after this surgery, I feel invigorated. I walk at least three miles every morning, but uh, and the only thing that stops me from going any further is my knees and my back. You know, it's not my heart. I'm never out of breath. I can actually sing while I'm walking. I think it's good. <laughs>